Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about how to back up the programming in Johnson controllers, right? Uh, I know you're looking at a uh, webs, Honeywell webs um, chase right now, but I have uh, Johnson controllers on here, right? And I guess uh, these last four right here are my Johnson ones. I guess, uh, I don't know if you'd call it a disadvantage or it's just different right for Johnson so the programming is not in Niagara right we program Johnson through CCT so if I go try to download this uh, controller uh, nothing's going to happen um, the, the, it, it, it won't download right because it's a Johnson controller we download in CCT so i I've done pretty much here. I got some tweaking to do on, on there, but I, I want to back up these CAF files, which would be a great thing for you to do for the customer. Maybe even put it on a, a thumb drive and put it in the the same enclosure as the Jace, you know. That way the customer has it. Lightning strikes the building or whatever. Controllers do go out, right? Whether it's Johnson, Honeywell, whatever. You, you, you hit something with lightning, it, it, it's going down. And this happens uh, fairly often. So, Johnson Controls, I could do this in CCT. So, first of all, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to make a new folder and call it Office. Yeah. Okay. Now we can go back to both of these. So, I need to know the address of the JACE. Uh, 10 18204 So we're going to come here and here to go to Tools, Truck Utilities, Transfer Controller Calves to Computer. Right? And then I need to know the address. I believe it was 10 1 18 I need to know the network number. 10, 1, 2, 18, 2, 4, okay. And then the network number that I'm on is 10, right here, right? If I, if I didn't have this open, I can come in here and I can look in here. And it's the I MSTP network that the controllers are on. This one happens to be on this one, which is a uh, COM1, so it would be the first COM. So we said that was 10. And then how am I connected to it? Right now, I believe I am connected through this tunnel. Let's see if that works. I want to select a directory. So I need to go to my desktop and go to my office calves that I've created there. Okay. Now I hit the discovery. Let's see if this works through VPN. It should. There it is. Okay. There's my controllers. Multi-zone, VAV, VAV, VAV. Done. Okay. So I select them all. And see they're at different revs too. Um I, I used what we we used what we had, right? So I uh, got the newer unitary controllers, and then we had some older PCVs laying around, so we use those. So they're at different revs. It doesn't matter whenever we're doing upload, right? It's all uploaded at that rev. So I hit finish. So it's going out and grabbing those CAF files out of the controllers and supposed to upload it. Let's see. That's a great learning lesson. So this uh, archive MOI. Guaranteed 100% that that is a permissions um, problem. So let's let these finish here, and I'll show you how to get rid of that. Green is good, red is bad, yellow is in process. So it looks like we're doing the PCVs fine, but the unitaries, the F4s, uh, or the one F4, we had just a slight problem. 
people with. Okay, so I go ahead and finish on that one. What I'm going to do is restart CCT. See, I'm glad I'm having these problems. That way, you know how to solve them. Now, CCT, this time, I'm going to run as admin. Even though I've loaded as admin and everything else, sometimes things mess up. So I go over here to Tool, Trunk Utilities, Transfer Controller Cast to Computer. I don't have to change this because I remembered what I did last time. So I can hit Next. My directory is already there. See, right here. Office Calf. So I just hit uh, Select Directory. Then OK. Now my Discovery hit popped up here. So right now, all I got to do is the first one. The multi zone. So if I click on this multi zone, hit finish. We should not get that error anymore. That MOI is always a administration error. I don't know why it pops up sometimes for some controllers and not for others. That's okay. So. It's a fairly fast process. It's nothing like downloading them. It actually uploads them pretty fast. So even if we had um, 50 or so, don't it, it would uh, it would do it. So now we can go and look at that folder and that's what it popped up. Templates. Don't worry about the templates. You can get rid of them if you want. All we care about is these CAF files, right? That's the only thing we care about. So that's how we back up the programming on a Johnson system, right? Obviously, we'd save the station, make a copy of the station. But that would just save what's in the station already, right? Graphics. Uh, points, these points right here that I've brought in, that only saves that, not the actual programming. I don't remember programming in Johnson is different than Honeywell. It's actually done inside CCT. And we'll go over some of the CCT programming I did for this job uh, on, a, on another date. Thanks for watching.